Hi and welcome to the last in my Halloween series of videos. Today's video is easy Halloween food ideas. Don't forget to check out my other Halloween activity and games videos for more Halloween inspiration. If you like this kind of mum content, I post weekly videos and I've hit my first 100 subscribers. So if you enjoy this video, I would love for you to consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's get started. So these skeleton sticks are made using cake pop sticks, marshmallows, black icing from a tube and already made up white chocolate coated pretzels. I chose to make up the faces first using icing and waited for them to set a bit. I did add them to the fridge to do this. Unlike the Pinterest post I was trying to copy, I added an extra marshmallow at the bottom to hold all the pretzels up and then added three pretzels but you could add more. My initial plan was to have these in a cellophane bag and the best way I found to do this was adding the bag to the body, then the head afterwards to stop the icing from smearing. I even cut off the top of the bag to make it easier, but in the end, though they were all going to eat them from home, I added them to this cake pop stand I had. So these quesadillas we made three times last week. I've completely overloaded on cheese, but these were so easy to make and really tasty. For each face you need two tortilla wraps. One wrap you cut out a face like you do with a pumpkin, and with the other wrap you cover with your toppings. We just went for tomato puree and cheddar cheese. You can be more adventurous with this. Then you place the cutout face on top of the toppings wrap and place on a baking sheet on a baking tray and put it in the oven at 180 degrees fan assisted for 10 to 12 minutes. These are super good for fussy eaters and went down super well in our house. So for these butter cookies I cheated with a Betty Crocker cookie mix which all it needed was 2 tablespoons of water and 12 minutes of cooking in the oven and then they were ready to decorate. So I felt less guilty about eating more than one, I just made the cookies bigger so the mix made for cookies. Then using some tubed icing I used this to stick two Maltesers down on the top and stick two edible eyes onto the face. Then I melted down some chocolate in the microwave and with a cocktail stick dipped it into the chocolate and made eight legs. These were really easy and really really yummy. So this one failed on my first attempt. I started off well, I used a ready rolled pizza base, added the tomato puree, and then added some mozzarella, which was cut out using a ghost cookie cutter I purchased from Amazon. But I made my mistake here when I added the ghost to the pizza and put it in the oven for 15 minutes. What I should have done was not add the mozzarella until the last few minutes of the pizza being in the oven. Thankfully on my second attempt, when I added them to the kids ready-made pizzas, they came out fine. So these were another one I made more than once in a week. I used short crust pastry and cut them into strips about one centimeter wide. Then you take one strip and start wrapping it around the hot dog, leaving enough space at the top to add some eyes later. And then when I grabbed another strip, I would start wrapping it in a different direction. Then these were baked in the oven on a baking sheet for 25 minutes at 170 degrees on a fan assisted oven and this block of pastry covered for hot dogs. Once they came out of the oven using a cocktail stick I added a little bit of mayonnaise to create the eyes and then they were done. So I have two variations on easy kids desserts, one with jelly, the other with ice cream. First up the jelly, I used a blackcurrant flavour and a lime flavour jelly to get the colours I wanted for Halloween. Now I still can't quite work out at what point I should have added the worms. I started with straight away but some slipped in. 
if you had longer worms I'm sure this would have been easier then I tried to add some halfway through the jelly setting and this did help somewhat but I'm sure if I added the worms in right at the very end it would have been just as effective anyway I got these Halloween sweets from the cob and dressed it around the plate and I got a pretty good reaction from little Miss C and her friends on a play date and then I did this similar with ice cream later on in the week and I would do this once again before Halloween and I have got our favourite kind candy Halloween sweets as Little Miss C did request these and I can't wait to get these as the flavours of these are so so good. If you want a healthier treat, these fruit kebabs are healthy, brightly coloured and Halloween-y. By adding the marshmallows with a ghost face on it, I use again the black icing in a tube. It really took no time at all and we had these with our breakfast. This was another one that failed on its first attempt. What I learned from this was you need to grease the cutters first to stop the pancake from sticking to it, otherwise you cannot remove it when turning it over. We used a ready-made pancake mix, used a funnel to get the mix in the right places, used the Halloween cookie cutters I got from Amazon which have now been used many times and have been super useful these last couple of weeks. Then before turning the pancakes over, we poked the pancake to come away from the cutter and cooked it on the other side. They needed a little excess trimming but for a one-off Halloween treat I did like this idea and we just used the icing again to write something Halloween-y on the plate. And another healthy Halloween idea, just like when preparing your pumpkin for carving, I took off the top of the orange, emptied the contents and using a Halloween carving knife cut out the eyes, nose and mouth and then you have a fruit bowl to add some fruit to. And the last one wasn't made for the kids but for us adults and it was a centuries recipe for tortilla bats with the tomato salsa. The bats were made by coating two wraps with olive oil and then putting one on top of the other. I then used my bat cutter again and then covered with smoked paprika. They were then baked on a baking sheet at 160 fan assisted for 7 minutes on each side. Then for the salsa which was really nice it was made using cherry tomatoes, red onion, roasted red peppers, garlic lime and coriander and I will add the recipe in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching i have had so much fun doing these halloween videos if you've enjoyed it please remember to give it a thumbs up and until next time